punning around, making English fun with puns. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series on listening and speaking skills. Today, we're going to dive into a fun aspect of English language, puns. Puns can add a humorous twist to conversations and stories, making English more enjoyable to learn. Let's jump right in. A pun is a form of wordplay that exploits multiple meanings of a term or of similar sounding words for an intended humorous or rhetorical effect. In other words, puns are a clever way of using words that sound the same but have different meanings or words that have the same spelling but multiple meanings to make a joke or a clever statement. Here's an example to illustrate this. Time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like a banana. In this sentence, the word flies is used in two different contexts. The first flies refers to the action of moving quickly through the air and the second flies refers to a type of insect. Now that we know what a pun is, let's look at the different types of puns. 1. Homophonic puns. These are puns that use words which sound alike but have different meanings. Example, I used to be a baker because I needed dough. Here, needed and needed sound alike but have different meanings. 2. Homographic puns. These use words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. Example, I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. Here, put down could mean to place something on a surface or to stop reading a book. 3. Homonymic puns. These are puns that use homonyms, words that are both spelled and pronounced the same, but have different meanings. Example, why don't we make like a tree and leaf? Here, leaf is a play on the word leave. Creating puns requires a good understanding of words and their meanings. Here are some steps to guide you. 1. Know your words. The more words you know, the more puns you can make. 2. Think of words with multiple meanings. Words with multiple meanings are perfect for creating puns. 3. Play with sounds. Think about words that sound the same or similar, even if they're spelled differently. 4. Practice. The more you practice, the better you get at creating puns. And that's it, folks. Puns are a fantastic way to make English learning fun. Not only do they enhance your vocabulary, but they also help improve your understanding of wordplay, which is a crucial part of communication in English. So, keep practicing, and soon, you'll be punning around with the best of them. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into different types of jokes. Stay tuned and happy learning!